So now uh, we will be seeing another component, which is a screen component, which is the dialog box. Now you can see um, in my slide over here, dialog box. In the dialog box, you can see there is a, the name of the dialog box. For here, we have this name of the dialog box called as options. So, uh, so let me come to my AutoCAD screen over here. So let's say I open up a dialog box over here. So there are certain tools that you execute, a dialog box will come and one of the uh, commands of the tool is the options tool. So you can go with the options command and then the dialog box will come. So what is a dialog box? Dialog box is in the screen component where you can have settings, uh, predefined settings for the project. Like here we have this option dialog box where you can have some settings for the AutoCAD project. Like we you can have the file setting, you can have the display setting, you can have an open and save setting, you can have the plot and publish. There are a lot of things one by one. Some of them we will discuss uh when we will be going ahead with the course so what are the components in the dialog box like you have a component called the name of the dialog box like here we have an options here and uh, then we have the tab for example in this dialog box there are tabs like these uh, we have this uh, file tab or the display tab or an open and save tab and then you have this area like like for example this is a default plot setting for example if i go to the display tab so windows element area is there and there is a drop down list over here color scheme drop down list so you have this check box like uh, you can select the options over here so this is a check box so you can see there's a check box there is a uh, there's a tab and there's a radio button so you can see some of them are uh, like uh, you know uh, there are some radio buttons you can hear in fact in this screen uh, you can see here there's a radio button over here so you can click on this radio buttons to have an option over here you can select a radio button from here and then you have a preview like uh, for example preview of that particular setting for example here we have in this drafting tab so you have this preview so if you increase the slider there's a slider you can see the preview of the aperture snap marker or the auto snap marker size similarly the aperture size of the cursor will change so there you have a preview and there's a slider over here in a dialog box then you have this uh, a lot of things you know that you will come so dialog box is another screen component in autocad coming back so starting a new drawing so this is something that you will start today and um, you want to start with a new drawing so that you're excited about how shall i start a new drawing right so to start a new drawing there are various options so let's jump start to the options over here so you can start a new drawing from the application menu you can say new and uh, you can say drawing right the moment you click there is a dialog box that comes so this is a select uh, template dialog box now you would be wondering about what the select template dialog box is. So select template dialog box is a default option that comes with the uh, AutoCAD uh, setup. So primarily when you are very new to the AutoCAD, I will prefer that you should not use a select template dialog box or you would go with a start from scratch setting. So how do you do that? So just close this one and here in the command write a small uh, system variable command called as S T A R T startup. So you can see that in, uh, you know the AutoCAD uh, gives you the command over here, and here you write a value of one. Now, if you open up a file again, new. Now it basically starts with a create new drawing. So now here you are not selecting a template; you are starting from scratch. So here we will be. I will be going forward with this setting. So in the entire. Uh, project that you will be doing or the work that you will be doing you will be starting with this setting so how do you do so again i repeat uh, so if the startup so command is startup so you click startup over here and the default value now you can see the one is the value the default value was three over here so if you open a new file a template will open and uh, again select template uh, dialog box it's the dialog box right select template dialog box will start so you want to avoid this so for that you have written a startup so you go for a startup uh, command so here you go and click on it so let me uh, push it up so you go for the startup command and uh, here you have to give a value of one so this is the default setting now again okay, let's come back how to start a new drawing so there are various options that's uh, in my slide you can see there is an option called a new drawing 
that means in the application menu you can go with the new drawing or in the menu bar you can go with the find new with the quick access toolbar you can go with new or in the command you can write new or q new or control n which i have not mentioned over here so let's see how to start the new file with the various options so one of them i have discussed about like the you have this application menu new drawing or you can directly go to the quick access toolbar so this is the quick access toolbar so here this is the icon for the new click new so again the same thing will come the dialog box will come or in the now you don't have the menu bar over here so let's bring the menu bar over here so show menu bar right click on it and in the file you can go for a new the same thing will happen okay so you can do it from menu bar you can uh, do it from the application menu you can do it from the command now so in the command you write n e w so here comes the same thing will happen or i have mentioned about q new so quick uh, new file so it's an old command actually same thing will happen or you can go with control n that is what i use often so control n is basically control plus n so press the control key from the laptop or the keypad and then press n uh, simultaneously so this will come so let's start with a new file so how it starts so i'm closing this file so here i go with an application menu i will choose the new option uh, okay so i can either click on the new option or i can just uh, keep my mouse over here right so here i go so you have this now what happens so there are certain uh, options over here now you can see this is written at start from scratch so you can see there is an open folder kind of thing so it talks about you know uh, so here we have this uh, the default setting so you can see this is the open drawing this talks about uh, start from scratch so if you click on this it will be a user template and then this is a user wizard right so let's talk about the first setting that is start from scratch so the start from scratch creates a new drawing either imperial or metric default settings so so what is the imperial and metric now friends one thing is very important very very important is when you start up with a project you have to plan in which unit system you want to start uh, ideally there are two types of system one is the british system and one is the SI system standard international system so in the british system uh, you use when you draw something because or carry the drafting software so here we have two basic units that you use in the british system for feet and inches so when we talk about feet and inches that means feet is basically the bigger one inches the smaller one so we call foot and inches foot is a singular form so uh, one foot is equal to 12 inches so you can start if you are working in foot and inches so i would recommend strongly recommend that you should go with the imperial system so why uh, why imperial system because in while you select this all the sheet size or the default settings and other things will be based on the uh, the unit system that you are using but let's say in the in our iso standards are normally across the world now people are shifting from the imperial system imperial is a king system of the british system to a metric system metric system is the whole bunch of uh, unit like for kilometer meter centimeter millimeter kilometer to millimeter so in a drawing when we work in a civil drawing in an architectural drawing generally in in some part most of the countries everywhere uh, generally people are using millimeters is the least unit that can be measured in a scale so the paper size comes in millimeter the the the, the specifications comes in millimeter and some of them are in meter so you can have a mix like you can use a meter millimeter centimeter whatever it is but if you are planning to go up with this system so use up so this is a radio button so you you can use a metric uh, or metric radio button or an imperial radio button right so go and search in the google and find out you know i would suggest that see what are the unit systems and how these unit system how basically the conversion of one system to the other like one foot is equal to how many uh, millimeters how you can convert it so we will have a separate session of 
conversion of unit system because uh, the drawings may come in feet inches somewhere then you have to convert it to millimeters or centimeters so we will take this particular topic very very uh, as a crucial one because as a civil engineer or an architect when you are doing a drafting it's very important to uh, you know this initial setting is very very important it's very important right okay so now you can see that you know there's a scale over here there's a sheet over here it's very about okay fine this is the uh, sheet size and other things okay so you're starting from the scratch the next uh, button if you select okay it says use a template now uh, template so I'm not going to use any template right now because I'm going to create template for the project later on so template uh, again as a file the project file for auto CAD is BWG but the template file is dot DWT now you can see DWT means the drawing template file so what is a drawing template file let me give you a very very brief introduction of a drawing template file so if you have a company and you are working on a particular project so you have the teams like you have architects civil engineers plumbing designers electrical so you work on a standard standard means all the text colors all the layers all the dimensions will have a particular standard right similar the sheet will be having a standard so those particular settings when you start up the drawing so that everybody uses that settings is a template file so if you are working on a project your civil draftsman or a structural draftsman or an architect will use the same template file uh, that is mentioned by the company standard so normally these are some default template files which we may not use and see so you have name plot style so, that, that, so there are a lot of settings there like while you're taking a print while you're taking a, a writing some annotations so all settings are predefined you need not have to do anything you have to select a style and do work so if you have a template file your 90 percent of the work is done but then if you are very new to AutoCAD like you are you are in the first class with me so I would prefer that let's not worry about the template file let's advance ahead so now there are two types of setups over here now what we do when we start a uh, project or AutoCAD file uh, first thing that you do is uh, select a unit right and then you say okay fine now I have selected unit and then I will select how much what is a sheet how much I want to draw what is the area of my drawing drafting so this particular advanced setup and quick setup helps you in order to set the the drawing and make the process easier so let's go with the advanced setup and see how it works so select the advanced setup and say okay now the first thing that it does it okay it says like step by step la da 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 units and then angles and then so if you say the next if you set the angles then you will set uh, angle measure then you will angle direction so and then we have the area that means the size of the sheet now uh, let's let's come back again right so let's come back again and see what um, default setting that we use started so i go with the application menu i say new and then i have this dialog box so here i have selected let's say imperial that means when i'm selecting imperial so i have made my mind that i am going to use feet and inches right so now uh, this has to be in the back of mind and then when you go to the setup over here so first thing that you need to do is to select a unit so if you are using a, a matrix system so you are supposed to use a millimeter or a centimeter or a meter for drawing the lines you have to select one any one of them but if you are basically uh, using a imperial system as a setup so it is strongly recommended to select either the engineering option for the units of measurement or the architecture option now see what is the difference between these two so if you are using a metric system so you select a decimal system or a fractional system but if you are that's what we have done we have selected that imperial system we can use either a engineering system or an architectural system so what is the difference between engineering and architectural unit system so in an engineering system so uh, the dimensions are mentioned like 1 feet 3.50000 inches so it is the inches part is written in in a decimal format similarly in the architectural same it is the feet inches but the the decimal part is not written in decimal but it is in a fraction like three and a half inches so it is the way you write it is the only difference so normally i'm comfortable with engineering unit systems 
go with an engineering unit system because I have been using a, a feed and inches. Uh, I, I can also use architecturally if I am very comfortable with fractional part, but that's fine. Similarly, the fractional system, uh, if you are not uh, so much good with the decimal system in the, in the metric uh, unit system, you can use a fractional system like anything if you write like say 15.5 meters or you can always write as 15 and a half as a meter or a millimeter or a centimeter. So, we will see what exactly we, how we start up the unit system. So, I have an engineering system over here. And then when once you select, you see there is a difference over here. So, if you select an engineering, the precision comes as a decimal. Now, you can see that uh, you have a precision, right? You can have the precision of the inches or uh, of the decimal system. So, Auto, Autodesk has a huge uh, precision of units. So, you can see 1, 2, 3, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, you can count it and see what is the precision that you have. But in the fractional, the, the precision is to 1, 256 of the fraction you can take the precision. Similarly, in engineering you can have the precision in the inches for nine decimal places and uh, you, you see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, these are the decimal precision that you can, you can count it, right? And then you have this fractional and then you have the scientific. So, uh, then comes the, so I have taken the engineering part and in, in the scientific you find something called the exponential E 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of minus 1. So, you have, so you can write any values like E to the power of 1, that means 10 to the power of 1. So, this is the exponential, you know, E power. So, let's take with the engineering and go with the next. Right. So, in the angle, um, uh, you know, again, it's very important. So, again, when you are in the civil engineering, so a lot of angle measurements are done while you're surveying, while you are doing a contraction works, or you're doing a measurement, a kind of thing between two beams or columns or something, or something. So, again, the angle measurement is comes with various unit system. So, you have a decimal degree like you have 90 degree, 45 degree, 30 degree. So, it is not only system that you have in the angle. You can have a degree minute, six seconds. So, and also, if you are taking a decimal degree, then you can also have the precision of that. So you can see that. Okay. But if you are going for a degree minute second, so, oh, that's great. So, then you have like so, uh, one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. So, you can write it like one degree, 30 minutes and 30 seconds. So, you can further precise it. Got it. So, you can have a gradients unit, you can have a radian like uh, again if you, uh, you you know about the radian system that we use by R, right. So, one radian uh, you know you can just google it and search what is the gradient. So, if you are in a survey you can have the radians, you have the gradients and the survey unit as not and south. So, we will be elaborating about the unit system very much uh, when we will be starting a project, which unit you need to uh, take and gradients are used for slopes and radians are also used for servings at a particular time. So, uh, 180 degrees is equal to pi radians you know about. So, pi you know what is the value of the pi. So, one radian you can find out. So, one uh, radian is equal to 180 by pi that is 22 uh, by 7 or 3.14. So, you can always have a calculation go to Google and find out what is the relation between a degree and the radian relation between gradients and radians. Fine. So, let us come back. So, I take as a decimal degree and I take a precision of 0, 0.0 or that's fine. I mean, uh, maximum I can take a two two degree precision over here. Now, the important part is the angle measure. Now, when you measure an angle, by default, it is done from the x-axis. So, here you can find in the WCS where I'm pointing my marker here. So, this is the east, this is the north, and here in the negative is the west, and in the negative y is the south. So, if when you measure an angle. So, it says that what is the base angle. So, here by default it is the east that is in the x. So, 0, 90, 180 it is taken like this. But if you take it not as a base angle, you will see what will happen. So, the 0 comes from here from the y axis. So, similarly you can have the west as the base angle, south as the base angle, other. So, we will see if you change, you know, later on we will be taking up the unit command, you will understand what is the need of this uh, particular thing. 
and then you have the angle direction like uh, counterclockwise is positive so counterclockwise is this one right so if you're going uh, uh, against the clock direction it is a counterclockwise so positive direction by default is a counterclockwise or clockwise so you can see the icon over here which is the preview over here which is changing right and here is the area next is the area that means how much area the sheet by default if you're taking an imperial system so it is one feet and nine inches is the default that is nine by twelve that means nine inches by twelve inches twelve inches is one feet so this is you can see the default we can change the limit of the screen by command called uh, limb max and finish the setting thank you